in with a sad update to a story we first brought you yesterday. A three year old shot at home in a drive by over the weekend is now believed to be dead. Just hours later, that same home was suspiciously firebombed and police are still looking for who did it. The now Detroit's Amir David is live at the hospital where that little boy was being treated. Just terrific when a child is lost in the middle of adult chaos like this. Amira. Horrific, tragic, you name it. It is incredibly appalling. This mother telling us that she was literally in the bed with this little boy when all of this unraveled. And I want to show our viewers now a picture of this little boy, Jamar Quinn. He had been here at Children's Hospital in a coma fighting for his life. All of this result of a senseless drive by shooting in which police say two people with guns uh, shot into the home from the back and from the front. This all happening at three in the morning on Sunday. Jamar was left in critical condition, but we believe has succumbed to his injuries. Friends and family sharing their condolences with the mother on Facebook. And, and this is not the only attack that's happened on this home. As you mentioned, I mean, the family tells us the same house was mysteriously firebombed early this morning. No one was inside at the time, thankfully. Additionally, however, the mother says the same home was attacked by gun fire earlier in the month. So a very strange series of events that police are investigating but not ready to comment on. And we did speak with the mother earlier just after uh, this took place. She was very emotional about how to explain what happened to her two other children. Take a listen. And she come home. I can't explain that to them. Whoever did it, whoever, whoever set the house on fire, whoever did it to my baby. I just want to know why. So who did this and why this happened? Those are the two central questions that both the mother wants to know and police want to know. They are now investigating with a, a comprehensive investigation underway. As I mentioned, they're not quite ready to comment on it. So we're going to continue following the story and bring you the updates. But of course, if you have any information on the case, River Rouge police are urging you to contact them immediately. For now, at Children's Hospital, Amira David reporting for the Now Detroit. Certainly too many children dying in the city of Detroit. Thank you, Amira, for that live report. Our thoughts and prayers certainly go out to that family. Let's check in now with Chris Stewart with more on our headlines. Hey,